The Mississippi Republican Party is the state affiliate of the United States Republican Party. The party chairman is Lucian Smith and is based in Jackson, Mississippi. The original Republican Party of Mississippi was founded following the American Civil War. The current incarnation of the Mississippi Republican Party was founded in 1956. The party would grow in popularity during the 1960s with wedge issues such as the 1964 Civil Rights Act, and today the party has the majority in the state. Topic: History In 1956, Wirt Adams Yerger Jr., an insurance agent from Jackson, founded the modern Mississippi Republican Party and served as the first state chairman from 1956 until 1966. He was chairman of the Mississippi delegation to the Republican National Convention in 1956, 1960, and 1964. He was elected to a four-year term as chairman of the Southern Association of Republican State Chairmen in 1960. In 2009, the Central Committee of the Mississippi Republican Party named Yerger Chairman Emeritus. The Mississippi Republican Party would grow in supporters with then President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who still twice lost the electoral votes of Mississippi. On September 24, 1960, Republican presidential candidate Richard Nixon campaigned in the state, the first time a presidential candidate had appeared in the state in more than a century. During the 1964 Republican National Convention Mississippi delegates would help nominate Barry Goldwater for president. Goldwater would go on to win 87% of the vote in Mississippi in the 1964 presidential election, the first time a Republican would win the state since the Reconstruction era. Only once since 1956 has a non-Republican presidential candidate won the state of Mississippi, Jimmy Carter in the 1976 presidential election. In 1988, Republican Congressman Trent Lott would defeat Democratic Congressman Wayne Dowdy to replace retiring Senator John Stennis DMS. Gubernatorial <inaudible> 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 elections <inaudible> 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 In 1963, Rubel Phillips became the first Republican nominee for governor in 80 years, challenging then-Lieutenant. Governor Paul Johnson Jr. and garnering 38% of the vote. Phillips ran again in 1967 against John Bell Williams but lost again, this time earning 29% of the vote. In 1991, for the first time in over a century a Republican would become the governor of Mississippi, when Kirk Fortas would earn 50.8% of the popular vote, defeating Democrat Ray Mabus. In the 2003 Mississippi gubernatorial election, Haley Barber defeated then-incumbent Democrat Ronnie Musgrove with 52.59% of the vote. On November 8, 2011, Phil Bryant was elected governor of Mississippi and assumed office in January 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Policy positions While Mississippi Republicans take positions on a wide variety of issues, some of the noteworthy ones include Abortion. Protecting and securing the life, liberty, and property of Mississippians begins first with guarding the life of the unborn child. Our policies should honor the sanctity of innocent human life. In November 2011, Governor Haley Barber voted for Mississippi Initiative 26. Initiative No. 26 would amend the Mississippi Constitution to define the word person or persons as those terms are used in Article 3 of the state constitution to include every human being from the moment of fertilization, cloning, or the functional equivalent thereof. Education. Our instructors must have the freedom to teach, our students must have the opportunity to learn, and our policies should focus on the classroom, not the boardroom. Energy policy – The Republican Party believes there needs to be a balance in the use of both renewable and non-renewable energy resources. Voting rights – In January 2009, Republican Senator Joseph Filigane put forward Mississippi Initiative 27 which would amend the Mississippi Constitution to require voters to submit a government-issued photo identification before being allowed to vote. This initiative passed on November 8, 2011. Private property – Republican Party members supported Mississippi Initiative 31 on the topic of eminent domain. 
Initiative No. 31 would amend the Mississippi Constitution to prohibit state and local government from taking private property by eminent domain and then conveying it to other persons or private businesses for a period of ten years after acquisition. Taxes – The Republican Party believes in cutting taxes. Current Republican officeholders The Mississippi Republican Party holds seven of the eight statewide offices and holds a majority in the Mississippi Senate. Republicans also hold both of the state's U.S. Senate seats and three of the state's four U.S. House seats. Members of Congress U.S. Senate Cindy Hyde-Smith Roger Wicker U.S. House of Representatives MS01, Trent Kelly MS03, Greg Harper MS04, Stephen Palazzo Statewide offices Governor, Phil Bryant Lieutenant Governor, Tate Reeves Secretary of State, Delbert Hoseman State Auditor, Stacy Pickering State Treasurer, Lynn Fitch Commissioner of Agriculture and Commerce, Cindy Hyde-Smith Commissioner of Insurance, Mike Cheney <laughs> State Legislative Leadership President of the Senate, Tate Reeves Speaker of the House, Philip Gunn Topic. Mississippi State Republican Chairman Wirt Yerger, 1956–1966 Clark Reed, 1966–1976 Charles W. Pickering, 1976–1978 Michael Retzer, 1978 to 1982, 1996 to 2001. Evelyn McPhail, 1987 to 1992. Jim Herring, 2001 to 2008. Brad White, 2008 to 2011. Joe Nossif, 2011 to 2017. Lucian Smith, 2017 present. Topic. See also Mississippi Democratic Party Lewis McAllister, first Republican member of the Mississippi House of Representatives since Reconstruction, 1962–1968, from Meridian Selig Wise, first Republican state senator since Reconstruction, served 1964–1968 Coahoma, Tunica, and Quitman counties.